What is going on guys? Little change of pace. As you guys can see, we are in a bass boat today and uh, we're joined my buddy Thomas. What's going on? Out with Thomas. Uh, he's got a channel, does a lot of Delta videos, a lot of the same fisheries that uh, you guys see from me. So I will definitely link his channel in the description below. But today, little bit of a challenge. We're fishing out of your boat. This is a very nice boat, by the way. I like it. It's uh, a little bit more expensive than my kayak. Uh, Not but. Yeah, I don't think. Actually, probably, that's probably true, sadly. But we're doing a little challenge today. This challenge is called King of the Boat. There's a twist. The twist is the king of the boat gets to control the front, the trolling motor. And the only way to get there is to catch a fish. So someone's in the front, someone's in the back. If you want to get to the front, you have to catch a bass and you get to control the front of the boat. You're obviously going to be making the big runs. You don't probably trust me on the, on the big motor yet, but... Uh, yeah. I don't yeah. really care. Oh yeah, that's the that's the whole idea of today's day of fishing. We are going to be throwing GoPros everywhere, hopefully catching some fish. It is spring, a little post frontal, not ideal, but you never know. Out on the delta, any cast could be a giant. So that's the video for today. Thomas and I, one v one, king of the boat. We'll see what happens. Let's do it. You have to keep it. You know, delta changes every every week three fish over 15 years of tournaments out here and you start getting lethargic you start going to the same spots over and over again even though they're not the place to be yeah you caught them 10 years ago you know big limits but it's not where they're at anymore right always changing dude but that's why I like it too. All right, it's your boat, so you're taking the front first. I gotta right, get well, tuned in. Well, if that's the case, I'm just gonna throw a reaction to start, let you have the opportunity, better opportunity to catch one. Well, I don't know, because the tide is perfect right now. You got a high outgo, a strong high outgo, which tells me I'm picking up swim bait to start. We should also specify that there are no like line crossing rules. You no, no, you can cast wherever you want. Look, that's why I'm casting the back of the boat already. I'll just be casting back there. Dude, maybe that's the strategy. Oh, oh, be in the front and cast backwards? You know, I like that. I got that big tournament in a couple weeks. I just want to get the deal. Yeah. Oh, God, it feels so strange, though, for me just to be in this position, man. Like, yeah, yeah, just. Oh, yeah. You know, you should just sit down. <laughs> I just figured this is a good spot for a female because it's closer to the main current. It's more of a spot they'd come up first. You hear of any uh, teeners caught yet this year on the uh, Delta? Uh, out here, no, no teeners. Couple tens, couple tens. Not, it's nothing like how it used to be out here. That's true. That's for sure. I mean, it used to be every year you'd catch it. 10 pounder back in 05, 6, 7, 8, 9. You would catch, I mean, two 10 pounders a year. You'd have your chances, right, at a 10. Water's pretty clear, actually. The one thing I could say is we'll have to keep, we'll have to keep watch on these tulies. These tulies are dead. Where I was getting bit last weekend, you'll see. Tulies are, are green. They'll be dead tulies, but then there'll be some green, fresh new ones. And that's where there'll be a fish. <laughs> it's so funny, I've never seen this bank in my life, this whole stretch. Yeah. I don't think you could really get for, to it from a kayak. Take the San Joaquin. Yeah. All right, let's roll out. First spot, dud. Dud of a spot. We'll hit a lot of duds today. Don't worry. It's all good, we got the motor. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. When you hit a dud, you just move. It's different than a kayak, right? You can't go too far or too much further from that dud spot in a kayak. Yeah, I don't know, man. We might go pre fish it, but I kind of don't want to. You can. I'm a five around. You know, kayak. Oh, yeah, I believe it. There's no king of the boat. I mean, you're the king right now, technically. Designated. In and out for us today, Greg. Dude, 
It might be. If we don't catch a fish today, man, I will quit fishing. I, I'll put that right now oh, no. on the video. If we don't catch a fish today, I will quit fishing. Lifetime. It's happening right What are you going to do? Take up like golf? Golf? Golf might be nice. I'll sell all this and buy, <laughs> buy the best golf gear in the world. <laughs> it's on the camera, so no turning back. Okay, man. Live wells are empty. <laughs> I, didn't, I thought they'd be overflowing by now. Oh, I was still putting them in the live well? Used all my other rods. I think it's time. Time to get a little wacky. You might want to go into a. I want to go into Mandeville and check it out a little bit. Go see what it looks like, because there are times it gets really good in there. It's also been a long time since it's been really good in there. Yeah, they used to be, shoot, man, you go in Little Mandeville, whoo, it used to be so good. Yeah. All right, give us a little update. What do we got going on? We are skunked right now. My question is, what's your? Do you have any golf courses nearby? <laughs> I do. I have, I have quite a few golf courses near the house. Eh, you never know, though, right? This could be the spot. Any spot. Any spot. This is like four foot out here. Four foot, five yeah. foot. Yeah, four foot. But they're gonna be. If they're gonna be here, they're gonna be right on that hard. The hard structure. The wood. I live. I'm just gonna go down this line of trees. Cause if they're here, they're here. If they're not, they're not. I mean, you know pretty quick in here. I wonder if I could crank these. Yeah, you can crank these. Balance one off one's head. Oh, there's a turtle. Now where normally if you see the turtles up cruising around, it means that the bass should be active too. This dang fish at. I don't know how they got out of there. It looks pretty skinny. <laughs> Dude, it looks like it goes. <laughs> Does it not look like a waterfall? It looks like we're gonna hit the bottom and then it goes and then it goes over the other side, does it not? How in the world do those guys get out? Like it looks too low. Yeah, this looks a little sketchy. Yep, there's something right there. I hit it. Yeah. Dude, we'll have to uh, use the big motor and just cruise out back through where we went. That's the thing though, it could change at any point. That's, I think that's why the Delta is so intriguing is because it really could change. You're never out of it on the Delta. I never worry on the Delta unless I, unless I go through my best tide and I'm like, dang it. Like, should have caught one on that tide right there, you know? Be right back. Finally, Greg left the boat. Now I could tie on what works. While he's not looking, he already looked at my baits. Now I gotta put on the secret. He's not gonna know what happened. He'll be back in the back of the boat going, what's going on up there? Why is he catching those fish? That's right, surprise attack. Dude, there's like 50 dinks on the ramp. Really? Shows you that the males are moving up. 50? <laughs> Tons of them, huh? That's crazy. Yep. Might happen, I'm telling you might happen later. Might hit a spot and just be on. All right guys, little update. We're regrouping right now. I had to use the facility, so appreciate you. Good old Sugar Barge, look. One of our favorite places to kayak fish, Sugar Barge. It's crazy though, as I was walking back, there was a bunch of fish on the ramp. Bunch of dinks. 
I don't know if that really tells us anything, but uh, I better go catch one right now, so I don't have I know, to. I know. The rest of my you, life. I know you might just want to go try to Look catch a dink. Drop shot over there. Seriously, that might not be a bad idea. It is so early. 9:44. This is what our live wells look like. Don't show mine. There's nothing in there. We've regrouped. You've tied on a few new baits. I think what you probably can, you can attest to this. When the boat starts to get more cluttered and stuff, that means it's tough, right? That Different. just that just means I know what I'm doing. Oh, the new, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, well, we'll see. We got a <laughs> we, got, we got some work to do. You should let me make yeah. a cast by the ramp. <laughs> you can catch one uh, with a little drop shot. Fire out. We're live well in this fish. It's 12 inches. <laughs> there was probably a couple 12 inches. I feel like a jerk bait or something would oh, get them. Yeah. Oh, no, really? Dude, I had a bite. Really? Yeah. That's more. Oh, you got him. Oh, oh he's All right, let's not mess with these fish. All right, all right, all right. Let's get out of here. You know, at the end of the day, we could always rely on a forest <laughs> launch ramp. Okay. Yeah, right? All right, spot number, I don't even know. What spot number is this? Eight. Eight, oh gosh. Well, lucky number eight. Oh, you're throwing a crank too? Oh, you brought out the crank? We're thinking the same thing. I know. That one, oh my God, we're on the board. What? We're on the board. No. We're on the board. No. Oh gosh. Dude, I'm keeping it. It's 12 inches. It's not 12 inches. You got a measuring board? Oh, wait, I gotta move the back. You gotta move the back because it's any fish. We're gonna have to measure it. I'm really good at guesstimating length because, you know, the kayak, and I would say that is barely gonna touch. Oh, yeah, that'll be 12. It'll I be think, 12 minutes. I think it's gonna be shy. You like my measuring board? I do. You I, see the numbers? I wonder if this is approved. 10's right here. 10. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> Actually, dude, he doesn't make it. I'm not gonna lie, he doesn't make it. Plus, he's missing part of his tail. But I've officially become the king of the boat. Dude, this is probably actually worse for me because I don't really know how to. Whoa, I'm fall off. Dude, I might. I'm king, but it didn't matter because it, you know, didn't count. Yeah, it's still tied. I know. <laughs> Don't be idle around this guy. Right over. We, could, we can move areas. It's up to you, man. Up to you. You're in the front. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't care. We can move. Man, I can't believe my, my little bass was shy. I didn't even measure. It's a good sign, though. Maybe. I gotta keep it out. I keep doing this drop shot deal in the back until I catch a fish. Son of a gun, he took, look at that. I'm gonna throw that back in there. <laughs> Dude, right off those toolies right there. Catch him on the turd. <laughs> Got him on it. <laughs> yeah, baby. In the boat. So he took my worm. My line is all up on, dude, but I can't tell where my weight is. You know, sometimes the drop shot weight goes through their gill plate or whatever. But that's pretty funny that I caught him on the nub. King of the boat, king of the boat. Get ready to slow down. You're gonna be fishing more like kayak here in a second because I'm gonna slow down, start flipping this thing around a little bit. Gosh, I gotta cut my line just to put him in the box. All right, he's going in the box, so. He's going in the box. <laughs> Number one. My rain is over. That short-lived rain. All right, well, you don't have to golf for the rest of your life now, too. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Might have to go to a drop shot. Uh-oh. You make me think about it already. Well, I got a Senko right now. I haven't really thrown the spinning rod much. Five-inch Senko. Oh. oh, that's right. That's right. Dude. You told me about that afterwards. Oh. Yeah, no, no. No. Dude, I think that was, happen, I think that's grass, but 
It's so hard for me to tell when the boat's moving. And it's gonna get better. So that's, that's Dude, I'm, I'm the king. No, you're not. I'm the king. Oh, is it deep? Yeah, it's a keeper. No. Oh my god. You didn't even get to make a cast. Are you serious? <laughs> I haven't started fishing yet. It's 100% a keeper. Yours is smaller than mine. I don't know, mine's, got some, mine's got some meat on it. Golly, oh, man! <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> oh, that's your side. No way. Probably. Alright, go ahead and move back to the front. Alright. Sweet. Now I'm now I'm having you know line issues. Here. Once you get two bites like that, oh there's gonna be a lot more. Oh yeah. No, it's small. It's small, but it's what I'll tell you what it is though. Twelve inches and king of the boat. But they want the they want the finesse. <sighs> and again, my drop shot's super tangled up, like ridiculous, right? Like. Watch me catch one. No, I don't doubt it. You're gonna put the ding. Senko back on. This challenge is more about like whoever could catch a five pounder. Ooh, I'm already done. Oh yeah. I need to put a limit in the box and then switch over to different bait. Uh oh, on the inside. Look at you. <laughs> That's your co-angler right there. Yeah. and big ones in the boat. Another keeper, chatterbait. Greg's in trouble. Actually, you're not really in trouble as long as you just catch some fish because these are not. <laughs> if you catch a fish, it's almost guaranteed to be bigger than that one. Number three. Oh yeah. Now it's flip bill. Flip bill here. Why? Just Let's just try to catch a big one. Don't worry about that limit anymore. Uh-oh. Oh. I just had one on the jig. Yep. And I screwed up. He was swimming with the pinchers, yeah. And then I didn't set the hook. Oh. No. No. Oh my god, dude, that is the one, king of the boat. I mean, that's clearly not a keeper, but. But you get to get the front. Yeah, that's where the strategy comes into play right there, dude. We'll do it like the pros here in the circuits, like a pro. Giant. Oh no, I might just need to get a few keepers on me. Now I gotta go to the back. And fish my drop shot out now. That's right where I got bit on the uh, the jig. So it shows you how small the fish were willing to try the jig. The water color is just right. You know, just flipping in general. Going in. Got him. Decent one too. Dude, this is a good one. This is a good one, dude. Big one. I don't know how big he is, but he's big. It's a, it's a good one, dude. He's stripping some drag. Five pounder at least, baby. Oh, this could be your day. This could be the end, Greg. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude, it's big. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Oh my yeah, God. baby! Oh my God. Dude, that's what we came for, right? That's what we came for. Yeah. Holy crap. We'll wait at the end. How about that? Nice job. I was Woo! Just thinking on a drop shot? Cast, on a drop shot. Dude, that's a... The... Oh my God. I think that one's gonna hit, maybe hit seven. That's oh, a pretty boy. fish. That one hurts. Oh, oh man. Pretty fish just on a little, just on a drop shot. See, sometimes you have to finesse them. 
out here. That's gonna hurt me. Yeah, that's easy six pushing seven, I'd say. Cause he's got a girth. She's got a girth. Going in the box. In front of the boat. We're in trouble. We got a lot of bait to go, man. I know. Oh man, I knew when I set the hook on that one, that it move. I got some more of these too for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so like the one that you got on the clock. Oh, are you serious? Dude, that's so funny. I think I at least got a keeper. Is it a keep? Yeah. Are you sure? I think that's gonna keep, dude. I'm not even kidding. That's gonna keep. Alright, I gave my buddy a friend. Oh, Catch some fish now. I know, right? That's like 12 inches, 12 inches, 12 inches, 7 pounders. Dude, and that's the thing, well, well, you know, like you said, and how it is on the Delta, man. And I don't know how well I can edit this to show how tough it was this morning for us, but, dude, it was like bleakville. 11 o'clock, no bites. Literally, we had nothing going for us this morning. We were fishing the right stuff, it looked like, but right when the tide turned to incoming, it was like boom, boom, boom. All starts happening. Delta comes to life. There we go. I feel bad for Thomas, he's in a work call. You'll see it on a... You'll see it on... Like, yeah. Look at that dink! Is it a keep? I don't think so. I don't think so, dude. It's tiny. I don't, ah. Guaranteed that he's 12? No. All I know is it's a fish and it knocks you out of the front of the boat. There's no way he's 12, dude. Oh, he is. Oh, he goes, yeah. That's the smallest one though, for sure. Oh, that's five. Five on. Watch out though. In about, in about uh, 10 minutes from now, it's only gonna be four, then three, then two, because the big one's gonna eat the rest. Dude, every time I come up here, it's like I make one cast. Especially since you just cast on the prime, prime stuff right here. Oh gosh. Oh, there's always the one. He's better than that last one I caught. Gosh, look how yellow. Gosh, I can't tell which one's small anymore because they're so small. They all look small. Or stick them in the net. This one's got to be the small one. Oh yeah, that's the small. That's get out of here. <laughs> Definitely uh, making the rest look pretty small in there. Out here. Oh, got one. You better finesse them up. You know what? I might have to try Dude, they are liking the drop shot right now. Yeah. From zero to. Hero here, my, I just, I mean, it might be better than what I have, but it's just, it's just, I don't know. I can't, I can't be messing around with those little fish to figure out which one's the biggest. It's just fun to get bit. This fishing's fun. My worm keeps getting smaller. I will say that. Pretty soon it's gonna be a nub. You should uh, drop shot the turd. That'll put you in the front of the boat. <laughs> the back of the boat catches the big ones, Greg. Yeah. What's the, uh, what pound test do you have on for the power shot? 15. 15? Oh. Whoa. Oh, it's a nice one. It's a nice one. Hey, did you get him on the jig? Jiggy. Oh boy. I needed that. That's a confidence booster. I didn't even feel that bite, dude. I didn't even feel that bite. Oh, ho, ho, back to the front. <laughs> now I don't know what to do. Yeah, that's a big one. It's a big one. Big, big. Giant, giant. It's a giant, giant. It's a, it's a giant, giant. Oh, it is. 
Dude, did I just catch a 10 pounder? Oh, it's it's close, but I'm gonna say eight. I'm gonna say eight and a half. Oh my God. That's a giant dude. Dude. <laughs> Make a day out of it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yo, that's insane. Well, it's close now. It's close now. Good match, man. Old bug eyes. Same thing outside, dude. Oh, we got a bag today, dude. <laughs> Seriously, put them together pretty soon after we get another two more. Oh. Did we get, did we get two more like that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Like normally when you catch two like that, you, you should win at that point because you gotta have stuff to back that up. You know, caution. There you go. No, never mind. Dude, I thought that was I thought that was her. We're getting a little excited. That was a tooly, 100 percent We're getting a little excited out here. We'll trigger happy out here. That's pretty Get in the boat. Yes. Did you just guess there? All right, I'm in the front. Oh, what a challenge series. You guys should try this at home. It's fun. <laughs> I think we're going to get ready to leave from here and just go try a different stretch. Oh. Are you serious? I made a mess of that. No. Oh, no. No, he came off, I think. Yeah, dude, I got thumped. Look at that. He took my. He took everything. Not even your dignity. Dude. I'm telling you, before I even got ready again, you're up back there setting the hook again. I know, right? That's the best time for me to kick fish. <laughs> <laughs> we were off the big boat for a long time. The cinnamon roll. Oh my God. Go that, on. That's a launch right hey, there. No, nah, I'm are good. Absolutely. That looks delicious. insane, dude. Oh, I got a sandwich actually. Which would you guys eat? Peanut butter sandwich? Cinnamon Come roll? Insanity. Well, first cast doesn't hurt, right? First cast, dude. That's a good sign. Beautiful five pound delta lord now. <laughs> dude, I had one on here and I screwed up. Uh, is he still on there? He's still on there. Dude, swallowed it because I, I waited long enough on him. Oh, oh, not a bad one. Oh no, this is gonna be trouble. Oh no, it's gonna be trouble. Oh no, uh oh, no, he got me. He got me in the tule. He's, still on there. He's on there, but he did get me. Uh oh, this could be. I don't think I can boat flip this one, dude. No. I don't think so. I don't know. Candle. Bring him over here. Gotcha. Thank you very much. All right. There's a limit. That's a limit, and definitely bigger than my limit now. I don't know. That man. one. That one. Help. Dude, look what's in his. Look what's in his mouth. Big old pinchers. Much needed fish. There's five. Goodness gracious. Big fish? Six and a quarter. It's fat though, dude. It's kind of belly. Not even. Really? 5.9. 5.9. That is a heavy 5.9. It looks it looks bigger, doesn't it? It does. He's not a small one, but it's a one. It is. It's a nice one. Little guy. Go. <laughs> There's a, yeah. a little sport. Yeah. Maybe one. 
That's that first fat one you got. Oh, and they're getting bigger. Bigger. They're getting bigger. Greg, I think you have closer to uh, 15 pounds. I'm telling you, I think you have 15, because if I had 12, what I have? I forgot what I had already. Oh, wow, dude. <laughs> dude, he's just strong, man. Come on, own him. A nice bass. All right. Yeah, I think. Yeah, you're looking at close to 15. There, there you go. 15. 15. 15.5. 15, All right, 15, you're yeah. right then, dude. You're right. 15.5. Okay. Oh, yeah, man, I'm bleeding. Yeah. Hey. Look at that, dude. Rip me apart. Get your thumb there. Ah, uh, see. 675. Woohoo! Oh, she's hot still, dude. Hot. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for today's video. I want to thank Thomas for uh, taking me out for this fun challenge. Let me know if you guys like these kind of videos. Little challenge videos is kind of on a whim, honestly. Yeah. But uh, glad we got out there, caught some fish again. Your YouTube channel, if people want to find you and all your adventures, it's the Bass Hookup. <laughs> Bass yeah. hookup, and I will link that in the description. But solid day, man. Any That's final fun. thoughts? Final thoughts, man. It just makes me want to come back out. I know. I just want to come back out. I'm already day ready. after day <laughs> after day. But as always, thank you guys for watching, for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next one.